So I got trucks there where you may not can see them, but there's two loaded ones up there, one empty one right there, another empty one, this is Dad here, and another empty one on the other side of Dad. When I load that last one right there, that'll be, uh, what the heck, let's see. That'll be eight in the first hour that I've loaded. When I load that one, it's sitting right there. Uh, get him loaded. So let's get busy. Get old Daddy O loaded here. So that's number eight going out over there. Number nine sitting down there. So this loaded nine in an hour right off the bat this morning. I know it looks like a different day, but it's already unclouded up. And the sun is gone. I'm uh I'm gonna go ahead and get fuel and grease. Today, let's see, today's Thursday. They're uh we're supposed to have rain come in here tonight. And it's supposed to rain all day Friday. And then again Saturday, everything's still the same. It's what it's uh what it's been uh what they've been calling for. So I'm gonna go here and get my gloves and grease gun and all that good stuff and get that fuel started. not completely out this time so it's not going to take a complete load I'm down about a quarter of a tank Got her grease, just let her fill up with fuel now. Get that done. I'm gonna uh, crawl back up in there in the cab where I listen to the radio so to them to see what how they're running out there and all that. When you have that many trucks like that at, at one time, it's uh, you have to really, really roll, man. I mean, you. It takes a lot, a lot of wood to load nine trucks at one time, and then uh, just to actually do it and set that many trees on. There was two loads out of that nine were uh, pine pulpwood tops too, so seven of them were true length, and two were double bunk. And you see Derek's cut line where he's at over there now, and what we've. Uh, what we ran through over here, what it looks like. You see the motor grader sitting way over there on that other road. So we're gonna take this lane of trees right here that's on the other side of Kevin, and they're gonna go all the way down and meet that cut line that's way back there. So this lane will cut all the way down to uh, to that, and then we'll be done. So we, I figure we like, uh, 
probably a week and a half or so. You can see a tree over there shaking where Derek is right now. Probably a good week and a half. I'm gonna crawl up in this camera. Let y'all watch Chad while I top this fuel off. Just right, I got her topped off. About the time he's bagging out. All right. This is gonna work pretty good. I've done loaded 13 already. It's uh, 10 o'clock. We're trying to load as many as we can today before the rain hits. Is the game plan. And Derek's right here. So we'll watch Derek for a little bit. Chad's on down past him, down there below him. I get a lot, I, the question that I get about that cutter right there, the number one question is, is does that machine level itself? The answer to that is no. Operator does it. You really wouldn't want it leveling itself for a lot of different reasons. It sounds, that sounds like that would be the most logical thing for it to level itself, but it would, it could be done, but as an operator, I know for me and for Derek too, I want to be able to control that myself. I don't want the machine doing it for me because uh, a lot of times you don't want to be level for different things that you're trying to accomplish on the machine. And uh, See, just like just then, he tipped it. Y'all probably couldn't see it, but he hit, he caught that tree. He's going down right now. He set himself down. That right track went down. And the operator's got control of what that machine is doing. Sometimes if you rock way over, machine tries to compensate, it may put you in a screwy situation real quick like It does have a button in it that you can mash and hold that button down. And while you hold that button down, it will keep it level. It will level it right there. See, anyway, he's constantly adjusting it. Chad's right there. See all the wood laying around the rim of that hill and over here. See, as it starts kind of starting to dry up, all right, he's finna get greedy. Well, he got both of them. When it starts drying up, then Derek can not, he don't have to manipulate the trees as much for Chad. And so Derek can go on ahead and get on out in front of Chad. The thing 
about where he just cut them trees, if you're on a rubber tire cutter, how far you would have to back up to get to where those butts are to throw them down. You would have to back that machine all the way up to right in here about where that stump is right there and then throw them down and then go back after some more. Look at the vines on that tree. And the one to the left of it over there. That's easy to do too. You get this, you get these machines swinging. It's hard to stop them. Got a truck here. There he goes. Derek killed his disc. There you go. He got that tree. I didn't get that on film. Get up here and load this truck real quick. We'll hop up and run a log. I mean, y'all can do this. Time to call it a day. That truck right there is number 28 for today. 28. In fuel, we have a uh, bulk fuel here at the uh, at the shop. That's the off-road fuel, the red fuel, and this is the clear fuel right here. We can hold uh, 14,000 gallons right here. So we can hold. You can see I'm putting clear fuel in my big tank. That's what I'm keeping it. These are, uh, let's that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six of our trucks right here. And seven, eight, and then the red Mac is Red Mac's up there. That's where it is. There's our old scooter over there. One of them. So that blue truck right there was still a kind of a good truck. And we had a driver uh them big old tires are for. I'm not sure what's wrong with 3235 right there. Those tires may be for a road grade or something. I don't know. But, uh, there's it. Mac right there. We were in a hard pull situation with that blue truck and, uh, no boy driving that thing. He tried to quick shift that thing right after I loaded him one day and uh, when he did he snatched that thing in the front tires of that truck came off the ground I told him I said man I said you cannot do that dude anyhow it smoked the transmission in that truck when he did that he made it in but it, it disintegrated that transmission so let's head to the house and uh, see what we can get into now it's uh 546.